welcome back everybody to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. This is a, it's just this um, subject for this video is I'm noticing a lot of um, some of the social media sites that you can go on. People asking what can I use for if I want to use a, a, a vacuum system on my um, CNC and and how do I go about it and and what have you. Well. I hope this enlightens a few people because I did it a while ago, I did it for me, me pro machine um, and what it is is the, the simple, I mean believe it or not that one there is a 3D printed one and I think I got it off Thingiverse, it's got like a, a neoprene seal you cut and put in a groove um, you can see that, that's, that's fine, that's open so as soon as you create a vacuum which is in there and there's a stopper in that side um, as soon as you actually press anything with a surface on it a sealable surface MDF is quite porous so we'll still do it but you know be aware that it does draw air in through the sides um, that is there continually open but it does work you press it down and I can bolt that anywhere I want to me 4040 and me Pro Machine and the other 3030 and bolt it to the aluminium table because they're adjustable um, the tech 5mm bolts so and the table's got the sliding nuts in but the one I did was well, I designed one myself and what I'll do is I'll take you over to uh, machine and I'll show you right here we are at the machine um, now this is my version um, as you can see it's 3d printed it has a I found that that one sometimes um, the vacuum would if it was a thin item there's nothing supporting it in the middle it would bow it would draw it in um, obviously you know about people use vacuum presses but it's like a plastic bag and it, it presses material because you're using atmospheric pressure so it's it's quite a lot of strength um, so what I did well my design it's slightly deeper it's still adjustable it's got an inlet and an outlet that's blanked off with a 3d printed plug and I'll show you tell you why that is at the moment um, it's got a bigger neoprene seal this is a seal that's used on my pro machine table I have a big vacuum table on that works for me like a, um, uh, a vacuum cleaner type thing um, the supports in the middle gives it support when it draws it down but the difference is on mine is I wanted to use maybe two I have about four of these printed off so I can connect these in tandem so I can connect put one on connect it put another one on connect it put another one on, connect it blank, blank stop so you could put four down if you're holding something quite large um, but what I chose to use is a ball valve vacuum table ball valve you can see that there presses in so if if you once you put the vacuum on there's nothing works until you actually press it and that is slightly higher than this so as soon as you put a surface on and press it it starts letting the vacuum work which will draw it down I'll show you it working in a moment this is bolted to the table with and it's bolted with the same bolts that I use for my A axis, my fourth axis. Um, I've, I have used this, um, I've used it on some brass um, when I was trying to engrave with a um, one of the like a, a, a scribing needle and it, it engraves. Um, I didn't really like it but um, it worked fine, it held it down and it never moved now this is a hose the plastic hose that i use now i'll take you over to here this is for my main cnc now you can see there it's a vacuum gauge on it and it's a valve so you can actually shut the vacuum off it draws quite well um, that's the actual hose of a one foot water pump and one foot uh, vacuum now it's off at the moment i just need to switch that on um, but underneath there and I'll, I'll 
I'll try and incorporate a picture of the vacuum pump I have. Mine's secured underneath here, and I am taking the machine apart. But it's a, mine's a two-stage vacuum pump, and I think it was around about ninety pound. Um, it's like a two-stage at the end. It's got oil in it, um, and it's it's really good. It's similar to what they use for on the um, degassing machines and what have you. But um, I'll switch this on. And you can see the needle jump straight up. And you can hear it's quiet. You can hear it run. I've had it run for three and four hours. So it runs fine. I'll get a, um, my board. And that is doing, if I put place it on there, and it's like a green surface either side. It's just a bit of plywood. Um, it's not working at all. Nothing. Okay, set it, position it where you want. I could lift the machine up with that. That is not moving. And I'm being forceful with that. No doubt you could flex it on the rubber, but no. That is really so. As you can see, it works a treat. You no clamps and you won't move it. Trust me on that. It will not move. The only way that will move is if it loses its vacuum. Um, and that's it. So once you want to release it, I'll go back over to the machine, switch it off. There you go. And it works a treat. Now that is my design. But the ball valves, you can buy them. But I got, Trend had it at one time. They had, um, I went to a woodworking show and uh, there were a guy on a second hand stall. Well, it wasn't second hand, they were all new. And Trend did a, 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 um, a do it yourself vacuum table that you could use. You could clamp down to a table and you, you, you got the rubber with it, it like flat rubber, not round like this that goes into a groove. And, uh, and you put it on a piece of MDF, you drill some holes, and then these are sat on it in some slightly sunken holes and then you get, I think you get about 10 and uh, I think the kits were about £70 something like that 50 to £70 and this guy wanted I battered him down on two new kits for £10 so I had 20 of these um, don't get me wrong I'll, I'll show you that working um, just bear with me Right, I've connected the little one up. You'll have to bear with me on this because I've only got one hand to work it. I'll, I'll put the vacuum on. Right. Now, that's got a blank in that end. So if I put my fingers over there, that'll create the vacuum. Now, if I put that, it's a bit d difficult to do it, but if I put it there, You can see it works okay there's no problem it's, it's firmly held just like that one it's a smaller version it's slimmer okay so um, you bolt that to the table the same and as i say i, I won't be able, you would be able to force it off but you'd, you'd probably do some damage somewhere i'll switch it off but the the actual disadvantages between this one and that one that I designed is the fact that if I had four of these set on a table and I only wanted to use one or two or a diagonally across whichever then I can do that because the vacuum is sealed until you actually press that and then once you press that the vacuum works so you could leave three out not use them and just use one so you could you know because the ball valve actuates it um on the other three it's sealed until you operate that ball valve um that you can't you could you'd have to use four and put or two or one whichever and make sure that you're going to just use that one or all four or however many you've got on the machine so I find that better and it's a bit more substantial um, 
the only thing you've got to watch when you're 3d printing these is sometimes you'll get a little bit of because this is um abs i used abs for this is sometimes you'll get a little bit of warping on the corners the lift slightly so just be aware of that um, and it's made with a quite a good um, infill I think it's about 50% infill on this might be 60% same with that one but you need less on that one than you do that one because obviously that's thicker but as I say the the vacuum pump it wasn't expensive so anybody that were doing um, you know uh, machining but the the door necessarily need want the clamping down it's ideal must make sure that this is square to the bed well it runs along the same line as my a-axis does so it's parallel to the x-axis um, so you've no need to worry about that what you must make sure is that that whatever you put on square is central or square to the y and the x doesn't matter if it's round as long as you get it in this part where you want it in the engraving but as I say it's only a quick video and I noticed that people were saying what can you do well if you have a 3d printer you can print it um, and as I say you don't have to have a ball valve this one is on thingiverse so um, and it works I have no you know qualms about that um, that's my design it's a bit sturdier it's taller and, and I like it with the ball valve on it. it enables you to put four on the table and clamp it on whichever you want um, you don't have to disconnect them you just do them in tandem or you can connect them through a manifold where you'd have four and you can turn whichever ones you want on that's what you'd have to do with this you'd have to put it to a manifold I don't have to bother I can just link them do them in like a daisy chain and that one will work fine this you'd have to put to a manifold if you've more than one on and then operate the ones that you require to use but it's still effective until done um, so there it is um, vacuum table or vacuum pods as they're called you can purchase them and not this one but you can buy them um, as companies that sell them some are cheap ish some are very expensive um, but it's better when you can make your own as I found out um, and the two stage vacuum pump as I say I will include a picture of the, the um, two stage pump and I there we are background um, as I say it's a it's just a, a quick one um, for anybody that's wondering how vacuum pump would work and vacuum um, pods um, they work fine uh, I don't have a um, this isn't as, as you well know my videos I, I upgraded my table to um, a t-slot aluminium and it's a lot better a lot more stable um, and it, <coughs> I mean obviously the limitations of that is you would have to put a waste board down bolt that down and put your other material if you're using double sided tape on top of that if you wanted to go through because obviously you'd hit the table but when you're using the vac pods like this it's absolutely fine um, as I say it's mostly used for engraving you can actually, it will actually draw from a piece of MDF if you put a piece of MDF on that and then put something else on top it'll draw it through the MDF but uh, I don't find it a very secure way of doing it it does it um, and I've seen people do it on YouTube um, but it's as you well know it's slightly porous it's, you can tell when you vacuum I always seal the edges if I'm going to use MDF and I want to engrave something on a particular type uh, part or what have you um, I always seal the edges with a bit of cellulose sealer, um, sanding sealer. Just give it a couple of coats, it seals the edges, which you actually draw the air in through there. So it weakens your vacuum, although it still does work. You want your vacuum as, as good as you can get it. So just remember that. 
it's quite porous for vacuuming that's me concluded so as I say and I always say like and subscribe um, um, uh, it makes a big difference to me um, uh, people that are interested in the subjects you know just send me a acknowledgement you know you, whether you like my video and I'll always answer you I always say that I always answer you so as I always say until next time be careful be safe and bye for now